Um, so think of Lumio as your digital board uh, workspace. So, uh, and here we are at that digital workspace. Uh, it's a website um, and it's a, a, it's a demo group that we've just created for the purposes of, of demoing for in, in sessions like this. Um, imagine if you're on a board of a, of a fictitious organization called the Pixel Digital Corporation. So here we are, and we're fellow board members. Um, and this is your home page, your digital workspace. And uh, this is where all board members will go to to prepare for board meetings, to engage with each other uh, digitally um, online. You don't send emails anymore. You don't call each other unless you have to. You don't text each other unless you have to. Um, but everything is done here through this digital workspace. Um, you'll see a number of different attributes across the page as we, um, as Michael sort of scrolls down. There are threads, polls, members, files, um, uh, subgroups. Um, uh, typically, when you are about to start a board meeting um, and using um, Lumio or even offline now, well, you got to you got to prepare. So you got to let people know that a board meeting is going to take place. So you do a notice of a director's meeting. So in Lumio, we, we do that via a thread. So um, we start a new thread and we put a title on that's called the Notice of Directors Meeting, uh, November 2021. That's where, that's where we are now. And we notify what well, members of the board. And we may, and those are our board members. Um, and we may wish to tag it and call it a board meeting um, so that we can find it and easily find it in, in, in future. Um, and if there are any resolutions in that board meeting that we're going to do, typically there are, we tag put the resolutions tag in there as well. And then we'll give it a little bit of context. So a typical context is where is a board meeting going to be held? What time is it going to be held? Where um, and then what is the technolo technological tools that could be used uh, for the board meeting? In this case, it's a, it's a Zoom meeting. And then you you'd post, you start that up. If you're the board secretary, you go through this um, and you post up the agenda. You post up the minutes, um, board reports from the previous board meeting, as well as the current board meeting that you need to have as a board member in order to prepare for this meeting. Um, so you, you know, attach the files and you start the thread. Um, and then after that, um, you will go um, and uh, put any comments down in terms of what is it that you want to do in this particular board meeting? What is What are the agenda topics? Um, and you may also um, do some of the administrative tasks. So the, the, the next board meeting, as, as Michael has posted there, uh, the focus of this particular board uh, for Pixel Corporation is about the climate emergency and a climate related risk. That was decided as a board as being a topic of the next board meeting and the previous board meeting. So that's what he has posted here uh, as a board secretary. Um, uh, and then once he's posted that, you'll see there's a series of administration tasks that you can get done before the board meeting to, uh, even takes place. Um, you know from your own experience um, as board members that there's a heck of a lot of board meeting time taken up with administration. Face-to-face uh, -face time is really valuable for me as a, as a board chair. And I, and I loathe to use that time to do administrative tasks that are regulatory requirements, perhaps, or uh, constitutional requirements, but there's no reason to do it face to face. You can actually get it done ahead of the board meeting. And Lumia uh, uh, facilitates the ability to do that. So you can see here typical things, uh, as Michael's just about to start a poll, which is about approving minutes of the previous board meeting. There's no need to wait to the next board meeting to approve the minutes. You can do it asynchronously between the meetings. Um, questions and approval of financial reports for the board meeting. You can ask those questions ahead of the board meeting. Uh, resolutions approve funding. You could, if there's no controversy around it, you can approve those resolutions ahead of the board meeting. The beauty about this tool is that you don't all have to be in the same room at the same time in order to make these decisions and to progress conversations and to progress decisions. You can do it in the comfort of your own home, do it in your own time, whenever you are free, when you have the spare time. So there are gone other days where you needed to have everyone meeting in the same place at the same time in order to progress a decision or to continue a conversation. You can do it here uh, digitally um, through your browser. Um, so, you know, typically you put up a poll and Michael's going to start a poll and the poll is about um, uh, approving of a board, the previous board minutes. Um, and you can tag it and say um, administration in a minutes. Um, and uh, and then you put the, the details of the poll you're, you're running uh, and what the options are. So approving of the previous board minutes, uh, the details, um, 
uh, and then what you need to do, what is the vote? So you need to approve or um, uh, uh, review it, accept or review it. So those are the board minutes that he's just posted in from the previous board meeting. And the two options you have for vote on are to accept or to review. And you can set as a board secretary how long board members have to, um, to vote um, and the closing hour of the vote. I typically leave it open until as a board chair up until the start of the next board meeting. And uh, yeah, a few more options, but we won't go through some of that for now. Uh, for now. Um, and we'll just start the poll. Um, and um, and you can notify who you need to notify, which is everyone in the in the thread. So anyone who's coming to the board meeting or everyone who's a board member, those are the two options. And you can edit along the way as well. So people who you think don't need to vote or are unable to vote for constitutional reasons, yep, you just click them away. Don't, they don't need to be uh, included in the vote. And so if these list, list of people uh, will get a notification, it's time to vote, they can vote. Um, uh, and you'll see a rendition of what that looks like on the next page. So that's so that's um, that's a very quick run through of the first stages of um, of starting a notice of a director's meeting um, on Lumio. If we hop to something that we prepared earlier, just to close off this um, uh, session, you'll see a far more richer thread here. Of um, if you go right to the top. Um, um, so this is this is how we started, right? So we put a notice of directors meeting up. We um, uh, gave the place and location uh, and time rather and location. We put the agenda up. We put the board minutes up. We put the board papers up. Attached them all, as you can see here, the financial papers. And Takashi, who is the board secretary in this particular company, has made an introduction to the board meeting, uh, introduced the meeting to everyone, saying this is what we're going to do and achieve in this meeting. You'll see other board members are able to go in and thank Takashi for starting the notice, as well as ask some questions and suggest uh, edits to the agenda well ahead of time. Um, Mary, who's a person, can address those questions. Now, you notice that Vivian has posted a question on October the 14th. Sanjay has responded a few hours later. Mary comes on October 15th. Jayesh has come on October 15th. Um, and uh, and no, no one has repeated the same question twice, as you typically might see on an email or text or phone call. Everyone is aware of the questions being asked. There's transparency taking place here. And really importantly, there's an archiving of the conversations that are happening. So that if this conversation leads to a decision or leads to an approval or leads to a resolution, um, in future, you can review it when you come to an audit. So when you come to review, how do we make that decision? You can come back to this thread and go, okay, we talked about these things. We shared these documents. So-and-so said these things. And then if you take a look at the next um, stage uh, section down, if you recall, we talked about the minutes of the previous board meeting being approved and sent out for invitations. Well, this is a completed poll now. You can see that 100% of people have accepted the previous minutes. And they've made some comments saying thanks for the great set of minutes and good job, Takashi. All of this is done ahead of the board meeting in your own in their own time. So that when you when it comes time for this particular board meeting to be um, done and rendered, uh, the administration has already been done. And you can focus your energy and your time at the face-to-face -face time that you've got, the precious face-to-face -face time that, that we have these days in a board meeting on the most important things to talk about. They can only really be done face to face. The nuanced strategic conversations or the things which are highly conflicting or things that require some a level of personal um, uh, skill. Uh, if we scroll down and, uh, and in the interest of time, we won't go through all these attributes. You'll see some typical attributes of board minutes and board um, administration and governance. So a summary of actions from the previous meeting. Here are the, the, board, the board secretary Takashi has listed the previous actions and board members are able to go on there and check them off if they have done that. Or if they haven't done it, as Jayesh hasn't done it, he can explain why he hasn't done it. So everyone has kept on the same page as to why where things are at and uh, why they're at where they're at. Um, there are other typical approvals that you can do here. So approving of financial statements. Um, and uh, once you uh, once you're happy with the financial statements that have been attached, you can vote on it. Um, or you can ask questions, as Sanjay has done there. He's uh, uh, disagreed and he's asked for more information. Um, 
other resolutions, approving of funding resolutions, approving of uh, uh, property uh, deals, uh, funding applications to the ACME Trust, et cetera, et cetera. So these are typical sort of things that you'll see a board get up to in terms of doing its role as a board. All of this is digitally rendered. So what does this enable? If you sort of go back to the main screen again, Michael. So this is your digital workspace. You see the notice of directors meeting is right at the top because that was the last thread that we were just in and that we were last active in. But there is a bunch of different threads that have been started over time. Some of them have been tagged with resolutions, with board meetings. Um, there are a bunch of different tags that are available too. You can create your own tags, which is an easy way to find the types of information um, very quickly uh, in one space uh, that you've created over the weeks and months. Um, uh, scrolling back up to the top, if you go back to threads again, um, one of the neat things I've always enjoyed as a board chair is the ability to archive uh, and knowledge your knowledge over time and not even lose it. Everything is in one place. So everything you've created, every conversation, every document, every resolution, every decision is captured here in one place for everyone to see. And if you and if if you want if you get overwhelmed with an amount of information that's here, amount of threads are there, and you're not contributing to old threads anymore, you can close the threads as Michael has showcased there, so that the clutter is removed from your digital workspace, and you just see the threads which are still active. The other neat thing is if you click on polls, Michael, um, uh, as a tab, you'll see that all the decisions that have been made that were up for voting all the proposals that were passed, the resolutions that were passed over time, the minutes that were approved, are all captured in one place. Um, and so if you ever needed to go back and say, when did we decide such and such? Well, it's quite easy to find here. Um, and uh, and, and, um, and uh, by way of uh, sort of closing out, given there's, there's three minutes left and, um, and I, undoubtedly I've missed something. Um, there is uh, there are a bunch of different attributes that you, you can kind of see here, which we won't take you through on this particular um, call because there's so much to go into. But this tool is developed with board members and directors' best interests in mind and their lives in mind. I th you are busy people. You're not always going to be able to meet synchronously with the other fellow directors, but you care about your organizations just as much and you want to progress activities, actions, and decisions, and you want to build momentum during the course of the year. You also want to meet some regulatory compliance rules and regulation and, and, um, uh, uh, and tick boxes. So you want to be able to be audited. You want to be transparent. You want to share information with each other. And this is the one digital workspace that you can all come to to um, get that in one place. It doesn't cost a lot, um, and uh, it, it, made a, it makes a big for me as a, as a board chair coming into um, using a tool like this, it made a big difference in terms of board culture, the culture of transparency, as well as um, uh, the ability to keep everyone on the same page and aligned on uh, strategically important conversations, and then get all the administration done out of the way um, easily online very quickly and focus board meetings on things that, and conversations on things that really matter.